Hello, everyone. My name is Brendan Marr. That noise you're hearing is my ventilator. And welcome to Gage Turner's They Were Not My Star Wars Podcast. Today, I would like to talk about the power of art. After the tragic events of this last week, the question that often comes to the minds of many people is in the wake of tragedy, does art really have any meaning? Some of you may recall Oscar Knight following 9-11, which was about five months later. It was mentioned during the opening speech by Tom Cruise that art does matter, especially in the face of tragedy. That being said, that's why I wanted to talk about this today. May I also add a caveat before we begin? It has been suggested that violence in the media, violence in art, is to blame, or partially to blame, for these violent crimes. I could not disagree more. I'll leave it at that. Okay, let's jump into, I'm going to give you five reasons why art Star Wars included, is important. Number one, art provides entertainment. Art, this is the number one because in looking at film, that is the first thing that comes to our minds. Is that film well, we'll mostly be focusing on film today. Film can be entertaining. That, you could argue, is its primary purpose. Art is there to give us a good time. Star Wars is there to be fun. To be an enjoyable sit down with your friends or by yourself, pop some popcorn, you know, have your TV dinner in front of the TV and enjoy it. And come out feeling really entertained, really exhilarated. And enjoying those moments again and again. Whether it's sitting in the dark of a movie theater watching a horror movie and something scary happens and everyone jumps, that's part of the fun. Or whether it's watching something truly amazing on screen that looks great or sounds great or has great music like the Star Wars movies often do. Those moments of pulse pounding energy, those moments of somberness, those moments of beauty, art, Star Wars included, can entertain us. That's our number one. Number two, art provides escapism. Sometimes in our troubled world, especially this last week, we need to escape into something that will lift our spirits. And truly take us into a more positive mindset when things are down. And not just when tragedy strikes, but when we're feeling down. 
when maybe something's gone wrong and life maybe hasn't treated us that well. You know, you come home from work, you come home from school, and you're just feeling exhausted and beaten down, and you need something to help you escape. Art can do that. Star Wars transports us into an incredible world of aliens and villains and heroes. Characters we can boo at, characters we can cheer. And transport us into a world where a little green frog can lift a spaceship out of a swamp. Or a world where a whiny farm boy can save the galaxy. It transports us to this world of escapist joy. That's so real, we wish we could live in it. I can't wait to go to Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland and finally get to physically be in Star Wars. So our number two, art provides escapism. Number three, art can inform us. Film and Star Wars can inform us. Now, I do not believe that film is an educational tool, particularly when it comes to historical movies. And what I mean is, film is not meant to be accurate. Whether it's to history, whether it's to science, whether it's to any rules that really work in the modern, in real life, I should say. But what it can do is inform us. For instance, I do not believe that we should use film like, say, Rayford to teach history, because going by that standard, if Braveheart were to teach us history, as we know, it's way off the mark. But what it can do is it can inform us about the Scottish War against the English. Schindler's List can tell us a true story, though as close to it as it is to the mark, it's still it's fictional, but ultimately, because it does fiddle with the truth. But it does inform us about the nature of the Holocaust. It informs us about this guy named Oscar Schindler who saved a bunch of people. It informs us about many of the characters and events and people and places and situations that were real. And also inform us about a historical event that needs to be remembered. Steven Spielberg was very adamant about that when he won his Academy Award. That this was something that needed to be talked about and taught. Taught in schools. The Holocaust needs to be taught. Film can also inform us about other points of view. Film can inform us about things that we need to change in our lives. Or things that we need to understand are going on so that we can get a better view of the world. Art, particularly film, and even Star Wars can be these things. Now Star Wars, of course, being completely fictional, doesn't really inform us about about history or science or things like that. But when it does inform us about, I think, is an inherent spirituality that's within all of us. It also informs us about the nature of friendship. 
the nature of good and evil, the nature of choosing to do good, the nature of choosing not not choosing violence. These are things that art, film, and Star Wars can teach us about. So, number three, art can inform us. Number four, art can inspire us. Art can inspire us in many ways. It can inspire us by providing us hope. Let's go back to Schindler's List again. The movie is not just a depressing telling about the Holocaust. It's an inspirational story of a man who saved a bunch of people from death. It demonstrates the value of choosing to do good. And inspiring us by giving us a hopeful ending that tells us that we can choose to do good things and gives us that hope that even in the darkest times there is always light. The other way that art and film can inspire us is by providing movie ma movie magic. Remember the scene of the bicycles flying in E.T.? Or the scene of, I don't know, even down to the, that last goal by Charlie and the Mighty Ducks. These are moments that are inspiring. Film is so full of them. Star Wars is so full of inspirational moments. Yet again, Yoda lifting the X-Wing out of the swamp. Or Rey letting the Force flow through her to stop Kylo Ren. Or Luke destroying the Death Star by getting that perfect shot. But also, at the end of the day, Star Wars and film is about hope. The inspirational moments that give us the knowledge that there is good in this world, that are good things worth fighting for, and that in the end, good will triumph. So number four, art can inspire us. And number five. Number five, I believe to be the most important. And that is when art is at its best. Or not necessarily its best, but the greatest thing art can do is provide us with catharsis. Catharsis means the following. Catharsis is purification of the emotions through art. We can see a film and have a moment of emotional and spiritual healing that can come because of the power of art. Whether it's coming away feeling hopeful, as I mentioned before, like I said, these shootings were terrible, but maybe through art we can find the solace in whatever way that comes. Whether it's just the positivity or optimism or hope. Or whether it's a mo movie moment that we can truly understand. Maybe a Holocaust victim. Watching Schindler's List might have that emotional moment. Where there is that sense of the purification of the emotions by what they're seeing. It doesn't take away the horror of the experience, but maybe it can help them heal. Or maybe the moment when King Theoden in The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, 
is mourning his dead son and says no parent should ever have to bury their child. That moment, these are moments we can identify with. And maybe if everything clicks, we can truly become purified from those emotions that come with these things that have happened to us. Whether it's the end of Inception, when Robert Fisher has a moment where he finally connects with his dad on his deathbed. When they had a strange relationship, but in that moment they heal. When the older Mar Morris, Morris? No. Uh, the older Fisher, I'm drawing a blank on the on Dad Fisher, but we'll call him Dad Fisher. When he admits to his son that he's proud that his son isn't like him. And that beautiful moment when the young Robert Fisher pulls the pinwheel out of the safe, reminding him of the happy moment he had with his dad. There are many people who have similar experiences where they had a strained relationship with the parent, but toward the end of the parent's life, that reconciliation happened. Or even when the parent was still alive, those moments when those broken family bonds are repaired. Maybe seeing it on film can provide the emotional release that person has been looking for. And I think when that happens, that is art at its most beautiful. So those are my five things that art, particularly film, and particularly Star Wars, because this is a Star Wars podcast, can do for us. Number one, entertain. Number two, escapism. Number three, inform. Number four, inspire. And number five, provide catharsis. Let me know what you think of the power of art. My name is Brendan Marr. Thank you so much for tuning in. To Page Turners, they were not my Star Wars podcast. May the Force be with you.